Hi, this is Eric Patterson with thejazzmethod.com. This is the lesson about how to make a great sound on the saxophone and how to start building your own personal sound on the saxophone. So the first step is just making sure that you are doing things technically correctly. So the first step is to make sure that you've got your saxophone in the right position. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you right now. Basically what you want to have is the mouthpiece lined up directly with your mouth so it's almost making a T with your mouth like that. You don't want to have this situation where you're leaning down like that or having it way too high where you have to do that. You want it to come right in straight at your mouth like that. It should be nice and comfortable hanging from your neck strap so that you can sit up straight because that is really where your sound comes from is the core. And if you're not sitting up straight, you're not making a great saxophone sound. The next thing you want to do is to make sure that your two front teeth are set very firmly about a third of the way onto the mouthpiece. It varies for people, but that's a good general starting point. You want to make sure that your teeth are very firmly planted on the top of the mouthpiece. From there, you want to curl your lower lip just a little bit to keep your lower bottom teeth off the reed. And you basically want to make like a sour candy face. Imagining, imagine the last time you bit into a lemon or like a really sour piece of candy. These muscles here, those are your saxophone muscles and those are what help you to control your sound. So we put the teeth on the mouthpiece, tighten up a little bit around there at the corners of your mouth. This is called forming your embouchure. The next thing you want to do is to lower and open your jaw a little bit. So you're tight on the sides and a little bit loose on the bottom. The reason for that is the reed is the source of your sound. If the reed's vibrating, you're making sound. If the reed is vibrating a lot, you're making a lot of sound. But if you push too hard with your lower lip on the bottom of the reed, you're effectively stopping the reed from vibrating. You're stopping it from doing its job, which is to make a sound. So we want to let the reed vibrate as much as possible and as freely as possible. So we want to dramatically reduce the pressure that you put on the saxophone with your lower lip. Let's see how this starts to impact the saxophone playing. So if I'm too tight and biting too hard on the mouthpiece, I get a really thin sound. do if I open up, if I'm nice and tight on the sides, open on the bottom. Little Mary had a little lamb for you. So now, ways that you can be sure that you are forming your embouchure properly, there are a couple of them. The first is to play some low B flats. This is going to tell you, if you can play a low B flat, nice, big, fat, round low B flat, your embouchure is in the right spot. It's impossible if you're playing that pinched off sound to play those low B flats. If I'm pinched, I start to get some weird overtones, some ugly sound. But if I'm nice and open, that low B flat comes singing right out. Start on the lower end of your instrument. Play low B flats. You might drive your parents and your cats a little bit crazy, but that is a key part of making a great saxophone sound. Once you can consistently get your low B flat, start to play your low B flat and play a major scale up to middle B flat and back down to lower B flat, breathing as needed, like this. <laughs> I didn't articulate during that scale and that's with good reason. Sometimes tonguing can tend to mess with your embouchure. People tongue and then they tighten back up and things start to get weird. The main thing here is when I'm playing this low B flat I want to play that entire scale like I'm playing a low B flat. 
even that high B flat, the middle B flat, I'm thinking and forming on my embouchure and blowing as if I'm playing a low B flat. <laughs> that it's big fat round it's everything you want from your saxophone sound another good way to check on whether or not your embouchure is loose enough is to try to trill between octaves so if you can trill on middle B to high B then your embouchure is where it's supposed to be <laughs> that it didn't pop down the octave like it did before. So that's on a middle B to high B. If you can get those to pop up and down without moving your jaw, without adjusting your embouchure, then you know that your embouchure is in the right spot. So the key to this is playing scales, playing long tones, and being very intentional. To summarize, you put your two front teeth, top teeth, on the top of the mouthpiece, nice and firm. Get the mouthpiece to come in at almost a 90 degree angle to your mouth. Curl your lip, nice and tight on the sides, open jaw, and blow nice and freely. Good hot air through your saxophone. So I hope you found this lesson to be helpful. And I hope that you can continue to check out all the other great free content on thejazzmethod.com.